All right, you guys. This is my favorite lawnmower. Favorite color. Favorite make. It's a uh, Craftsman, which doesn't matter. It's a. I'm pretty sure it's an MTD frame. Briggs and Stratton Quantum Engine. Uh, when I first started seeing these, they scared me a little bit. They have this one has the automatic choke, no primer. That's fine. Uh, what else? It's made in May of 2011, I believe. Yes. March of 2011. So it's 12 years old, which means nothing. These guys can run forever. A friend of mine gave it to me. But, you know what? It, I have faith in it, although he's, he said he, things messed up when he changed the blade from the regular blade to a thatching blade. And it hasn't put the blade back on since. And he said he had trouble with the oil. It, fall, it all came out. I don't know what he did wrong, but there is not a drop of oil in this engine. There might be a little bit in the bottom of the sump. One other very interesting thing. So he gave up with the blade boss. He just left the blade off. But look at that. Look at that bolt for the... Uh, what do you call that? The bung for the oil? It, it weirdly looks brand new, huh? So I'm going to just take that out right now and investigate that. And there's a little bit of oil staining going on. There's a little bit of oil staining going on there, but that's, that's nothing. So I don't even know where the oil went. It's not dripping because nothing's really wet. Well, maybe a little bit in here, eh? So I'll just get a ratchet adapter and I'll just stick it in there and no, it's not in too tight. Okay. I'm going to see if there's any oil left in there at all. Just give me two seconds. I always say that and I walk away, right? I'm putting it on the cart because I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. So let's just back you guys up onto the chair. You guys are more comfortable on the chair anyway, right? So we'll take a shot back at this. Come around to the other side. I think I can do this. We'll see if there's any oil in it at all. Ah. Nothing. I'll pull it this way because it's still cold. drop of oil in there. Hey, that's weird, huh? So, we're going to do two things. First, I'm going to make sure this blade is okay. Over here. I'm just going to measure the tip of each wing when it's tilted. So we're going to lay this, this is very flat, right along this line here. So, I know it looks lopsided now, but this should be about two and three quarter inches, or one and three quarter inches, or something like that. One and a half inches. Turn it around, and tilt it. And it's one and a half inches. So the blade is fine. So I think we should just stick this blade on the box. Back over here, sorry. Just so you can watch. Are you watching? Yes, you are. Are you with me? I mean, this is a nice mower. If it holds oil, I'm going to try and start it. Okay. So now, we get the big ratchet out. Five eighths. Oh, that did pretty good. So we're about three-eighths of an inch at this corner, and we're three-eighths of an inch at this corner. So as far as the crankshaft goes, everything is square. So why isn't there oil in it? 
Oh yes, we might as well look at the we might as well look at the spark plug. I just want to see what it looks like. This is called a quick check of everything, eh? And that's that spark plug is used but not abused. I'm not a fan of first flight. They're good plugs. They're better than like a torch or or a wing wang with no lettering or anything like that. find out something pretty soon here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some oil in here. I'll turn this funnel around. We'll see if it pours out somewhere. Let's just leave that for a minute or two. You guys can, can take a break as well. And uh, let's, oh, I guess we should just check and see if there's any gasoline in there. Mm. There isn't enough to worry about. You know, I am going to just disconnect this, uh, this uh, gas line at the back over here while we're waiting to see what happens with the oil. And uh, we're going to just drain the last little bit of gas out of this guy. Oh, I didn't spill any, so any oil spilt should be from the machine. I guess I should have a look at that right now. Just a quick looky. Weird, eh, that not even a drop came out. <gasps> it is. Oh, for... Ha! My mistake! Action! Oh, you guys are going to laugh. All right, let's get the oil in there. And while that's draining in, I'm going to just take the fuel line off the tank. See, what, see if there's anything there. And we'll just turn it sideways a little bit so you guys can see. Right there. And I'm going to just see what's in here. Oh, it's going to come. Oh, there's a little. getting a little more, aren't I? Okay, that's good. I just got to get this out here like when I did my tractor. Okay, now let's connect that back up again. exerted myself yet. Alright, now let's have a look underneath. Are you guys watching? Yes you are. This is the big test right now. Because if there was oil we can we'd see it. I'm gonna get a flashlight. A torch. He also might have had it tipped. Could be fuel. Most likely fuel too, right? Because that's where she drops out of. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to pull on that. Well, I want to be really careful, right? That's one of my main goals here. I'm going to just squirt a tiny bit of 
two-stroke fuel into this hole. I know I've had it off once. I just want to see if it fires up, fires and goes back to sleep. It might even run for a bit because there was some gas in the carburetor, remember? It might even run for 30 seconds till it drains the carb. Because there was nothing holding the gas back from the carburetor. Well, I'm going to lower this down a little bit. We're going to back you guys up so you can see, sort of. And I'm going to just pull the rope carefully. It's got the blade, it's got oil. Yes, it's got oil. Wipe hands. Oh, I should be pulling with the other arm, though. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> All right, that's excellent. So it had a little bit of gas in the carburetor, right? So now we're going to, she's empty. She's got no gas in the tank. She's got no gas in the carburetor. And you'll see a tiny bit of smoke coming out of the muffler. So now let's get some new go juice. Hey, half the service is already done, eh? Muffler is smoking a little. I'm going to have to open the big door. Six gorps. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Now I didn't completely rinse this tank, but I didn't see one tiny bit of evidence in the gas that we removed of water or dirt. Right? There's the gas we removed. Unless it's pure water, which I doubt. Okay, so now we're going to just let that Drain in, like a good little boy. And we're going to push this a little further away from my truck frank. Okay, well if it doesn't leak, uh, I think we might, this just might be a keeper. I know it's 12 years old, well, it's one of my favorite engines. It is easy for Mrs. P to start because of the automatic choke. And uh, hmm, slightly bigger wheels than front because I have a bumpy yard. This might be the one. Oh, and I got a bag. But it says Troy built. We can fix that, huh? Thanks, guys. All right, you guys. Just balance the blade. Just, a, just a scope, eh? And uh, has a new air filter. So the tune-up is done. I'm still going to clean it up and make it shine like a new nickel. And uh, I think Mrs. P would rather have this than the Honda. Oh, oh. You know, it still might need a one of uh, the million dollar bolt ream, but uh, anyway, I'm going to see what she thinks. See you guys. Thanks for watching this so far. All right, my friends. This guy's name's Charlie, and uh, that's the guy who I got it from. And he told he said it was leaking oil. It's been sitting here for two days now. One day. Oh, there's no oil, right? So whatever he did, uh, he just messed up, and I bought it from him. 
he was happy to get rid of it. Troy built bag seems to work and uh, so that's all I wanted to show you for now was that. I'm not going to be working on much today. I'm a little stiff from yesterday. Hey my friends! Quantum time! Now I'm going all the way on this one. I'm going to drain the well, I just drained the gas out of the tank, and I'm going to let the rest dribble out. But I'm going to use my favorite little flat container, if, I, if there is any gas left in it. There probably will be. Oh, not bad. Good. Now, I'm going to take a 5 sixteenths, and I'm going to... I'm going to do the million dollar bolt. For those of you who don't know what the million dollar bolt is, right at the bottom of the carburetor uh, is the jet on these quantums. It actually holds the bolt on too. And uh, this one is an automatic choke. So the seal or the primer does not have to be perfect, it just has to seal for dust. There we are. And it's there. Right there. And I will give that a, a, a as Donnie Boy called it, 73 calls it, I'll give it an air wash. Okay, it looks really good. I'm just going to take the bowl off and clean it up. Half inch nut on a 9 rack chip. Half inch. I like to go to a 12 point on this one with my Sears teardrop because it's the uh, it's got the lightest mechanism. Well, I got my glove on one hand. It's not doing me any good whatsoever. <laughs> so let's see how much goo is in here after 12 years. Well, you know, there's a little bit, eh? It's good. So now we're going to wash this bowl. And we're going to just take... Uh, my little drill bits or my feeder gauges and just run them through that hole there. It does look, and I can see through it, but not perfectly. So this time, I thought about this last night. I'm going to use these, the old wel welding tip torches. I'm just playing, guys. This is what you do when you when you're on late duty. That's all I'm gonna say. Can I go one more? Pretty big, pretty darn big hole, eh? I think that's it. I'm just going to give it a squirt with some carb spray for clearing any debris in there at all. And most, I like putting them back. And most of my comrades in the small engine community are using less carb spray these days. Good. And now I'm just going to, there's one piece of crud in there, eh? I will look at the bowl seal too, because I've got a whole whack of those. I'm just going to put my finger over the throat, over the intake of the carburetor and...
I love it. Now I'm going to just put this. That's got back on the roof. We're going to check any more crud. I'm going to put the gas line back on. And close that off with the gas hose clamp. I think that's going to do it. Yes! And that hole looks a lot cleaner. So it won't be interesting if I can get this on without mucking the world up. Like that. And then put this bolt in here slash jet. This was my best video ever. It's called a lawnmower that starts and stalls. Okay, I'm just going to tighten that up now. So, put the air filter on, the carburetor bowl was put on, and I reconnected the gas line. So now we're going to put some gas in this bad boy. I'm just going to take a super quick glance at this fuel. Make sure it's good. Oh yeah, she's perfect. Almost a full tank. Now, this, this is an automatic choke. So, if everything is good with the world, I can finish with my cleanup on this bad boy. So, I don't want to hear any surging, right? Let's get a uh, clamp for the throttle, or for the, the brakeman's brake, what are you going to call that? Push it down the road a little, so I've got some elbow room. And you guys can see great, let's open some doors for some oxygen. It's a really windy day today. I'm going to start this bad boy up. i got to use my left arm. You ready? My friends, just over 3,000 RPMs, 3,030. That's still a bit slow, eh? But I'm not, I think I'm happy with that. It's an older mower, we'll just let it cook along at that speed. Every time you get into RPMs, you get, you get, a, you get lots of comments, but some of them aren't that good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shine it up now. Perfect. We'll be back in a bit. Hi guys. Well, you'll be happy to know, either way, uh, I thought I had an NGK plug for that one, but I had a Champion RJ19LM. But I actually think the NGK is just a little bit better made uh, plug these years. Well, I'm totally happy with the RJ Champion RJ19LM. And uh, now it's all finished. I'm just going to clean it up and we'll see what I end up with. Thanks. I'm not going to show you now. Oh, well, there it is. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. Thank you, Charlie. 
Isn't it the guy who, uh, well, I gave him twenty dollars for it. He had the blade out, and things weren't looking good when he brought it over. But I managed to salvage it, and I like quantum, and I like red. Most people just see that, I ain't craftsman, but uh, yeah, came out really nice. Thanks for watching this one with me, guys.